Canada is warming at twice the already alarming global rate. Its non-human inhabitants are extremely vulnerable to both climate change and to human activity. All across Canada, from the prairies, the lakes and the forests, the animals are disappearing. Over 521 plants and animal species are on its species at risk list. Once an animal is identified as endangered, it is important to identify its habitat need and then take action to protect the habitat. While the government must be at the forefront of wildlife and biodiversity protection, there are countless opportunities that communities for communities to work together and protect their own environments. Polar Bears Canada's polar bear are at a real danger of extinction by the end of the century if we don't act soon. Almost two-thirds of world's polar bears live in Canada. They are reliant on the Arctic Sea for hunting, mating and raising their cubs. As the sea ice melts, their hunting ground shrinks, leaving them with fewer hunting opportunities and lesser time to fatten up before the summer season. This is forcing them to forage in human communities living along coastlines of Arctic and to rely on human waste in order to survive. Barren Ground Caribou Endemic to Canada, the species is at risk due to human activity in the north of the country. The changing conditions of the Arctic are expected to have a negative impact on these creatures that have long been intricately tied to the cultural identities of the indigenous community who have used them for food, clothes for thousands of years. These animals spend most of the year on the tundra, migrating only to the coniferous forests to the south. Climate change is impacting the feeding habits, reproduction rates and migratory routes of the barren ground caribou. Caribou eats lichen, which can become inaccessible due to changing weather conditions. The more energy caribou requires to extract their main food source, the more food they require. This can eventually lead to starvation and even death. Their calving season has evolved to tie in with the season of easily accessible lichen. So as their primary food sources become less available, there is greater malnutrition among the young. Migration is dependent on access to food as well. As ice melts across the tundra, natural river barriers are formed, preventing them from reaching feeding and breeding grounds. American Badger The American Badger is listed as endangered in both British Columbia and Ontario. As per estimates, there are fewer than 200 in Ontario and lesser than 350 in British Columbia. They are the only true burrowing predators in Canada and play an important role in controlling the burrowing rodent population. In the grassland ecosystem, badgers sit on the top of the food chain as the most important predators. Humans have interfered with this delicate ecosystem by claiming these grasslands for their urban development and intensive agricultural needs. Throughout the 19th century, humans considered them as pets and deliberately controlled their population, fearing the damage their burrows could cause to livestock. The badger population never recovered due to the lack of grasslands available to them, collisions with cars and spread of diseases.